Hey folks, just wanted to uh, make a little video for today. Um, the melt is fully on. You can kind of hear that in the background. I'll just show it to you guys here. So, basically the, uh, the heat's finally come up. We're about a month late on spring this year. And so everything's a little bit behind, but we are fast approaching summer now with such long daylight hours. And so everything is kind of melting. And I thought this is a good opportunity to take a video and just talk a little bit about the melt because it's not something we really think about. We get so excited about the fact that summer's coming and then we just kind of, I don't know, ignore it, I guess. Um, and so unless you're trained to look at water, um, looking at all the snow melting is, I think, something we just kind of ignore. So... The reason that this melt in particular stands out for me is that we had close to record snows this year, which is really interesting. We also had a close to a record winter length as well. So it's been a, one of the colder winters with um, some of the most snow we've had in recent history. And the reason that's interesting is that the last summer in Southern Alberta, we had um, a record drought. So we got at our house about 10 millimeters of water um, in a, where normally we would get close to 320. Um, so that's significant. And, um, and so what's interesting about that is that our snow represents a third of our moisture. I've talked about that in other videos before. And when you think about that, I mean, this is really just a lost opportunity here. Um, the water that's flowing on the street. Um, this is really what uh, could change the situation from drought to abundance. Um, look at the water flowing here. So it's just pouring off there. That's probably two or three, maybe even four gallons a minute going down that gutter right now. And again, lost opportunity. It's all going straight down into the river. And to be honest, the river doesn't need the extra water right now. The river needs the extra water in the middle of the summertime. So what could be happening with this water um, is that it could be going to massive stormwater ponds um, or ponds somewhere in the city. Listen to that. That's the sound of lost opportunity. So this water is going straight out to the, to the river and it's not doing any um, good to anybody. Um, it could be stored in the landscape right now using rain gardens and stormwater ponds, um, which would be far more productive. And we could use it to grow more vegetation in the summertime and kind of avoid the drought. Now there's some interesting stuff happening here in the gutter I just wanted to point out as well. And that is the, uh, the debris fields. So nature's always trying to create edge. She's always trying to slow things down and find opportunities to capture and store energy. And so check out this down here. So these little leaf dams are just little upward spirals. And if humans stopped living in cities, these would continue to accumulate and you'd have trees growing right here. So nature's always trying to create edge, always trying to create soil to slow down nutrient loss. I mean, this is the exact same pattern that we'd find in a beaver dam just on the side of the road. And so even without beavers, we're getting water harvesting going on over there um, wherever we have this debris. And so in permaculture, what we're doing is we're just trying to create little speed bumps in the landscape to slow the flow of water, to capture the flow of nutrient so that we can create the conditions for life to flourish. And when the life around us flourishes, we flourish as humans, because ultimately that's what it's all about. It's about putting on your own airplane mask, your own oxygen mask first, and uh, putting on everyone else's second. And in order to put on your oxygen mask, what we do is we, we fix ecosystems. Here's another you know, lost opportunity right here. So if you're experiencing melt where you're at, go outside and make some observation. Look at what's happening. Look at where the water's flowing. 
try and come up with opportunities to capture and store that water in productive ways so that you can put it to productive use either now or later into the season. And uh, you'll be amazed at how quickly things change when we get the water harvesting component right. So hopefully you found that interesting guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you found this interesting, please hit the like button below and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Talk to you guys soon.